Now this problem is related to concept of isomorphism. So problem says potassium selenate is isomorphous with potassium sulfate and everybody knows potassium sulfate has a formula of K2SO4. So potassium sulfate K2SO4 is isomorphous with potassium selenate K2SEO4 we will discuss soon. Now let me ask a question what do you mean if two compounds are isomorphous? If compound A and compound B are isomorphous, what is the meaning of the term isomorphous? The term isomorphous says the two compounds will have same crystalline pattern. Like compound A crystallizes in one kind of pattern, compound B will also crystallize in the same kind of pattern. This means atoms are placed in similar type, similar manner. Both are like copy, same copy, only thing is in place of one molecule, in place of one compound, you have atom different and in case of another compound you have different atoms. So you have A and B, two compounds are isomorphous, this means they will have same location of atoms, but the identity of atom can change. So this means isomorphous compounds will have same crystalline pattern. So crystalline pattern is same. And if the crystalline pattern is same, the formula will also be same. If the potassium sulfate has K2SO4 formula, potassium selenate will have a formula K2SEO4. What is happening? In case of potassium sulfate, let us say sulfur atom is here and these are the potassium atom. Then what will happen in case of K2SO4, only this sulfur atom will get replaced by selenium atom. So everything will remain same, only in case of sulfur I will have selenium. Let us copy this one. Now question says, in potassium selenate K2SeO4, selenium is 45.42% and then we have to find atomic weight of selenium. So we have to find atomic weight of selenium. If I know in potassium selenate that is K2SeO4, the percentage of selenium is 45.42% then we have to calculate atomic weight of selenium. I think all of you have ca can do this one. So let me wait for one minute, you can do yourself. So atomic weight of selenium you have to find. So let us say atomic weight we have to find, assume atomic weight of selenium is X. So atomic weight of selenium is X, so this is atomic weight of selenium. So atomic weight of selenium is X, then what will be the weight of selenium in this compound? So this is only one atom of selenium we have, so it will have weight of X. But the total molecular weight of the compound, that is 2 into 39 for potassium, for selenium plus 4 into 64. So this is the percentage of selenium if I multiply by 100. And this is given to you 45.42%. 
Now if you solve this equation, you will get the value of x. And now if you solve, it will come x is equals to 118.2 gram per mole that is the weight of selenium, atomic weight of selenium. You can do yourself. Now question also says calculate the equivalent of this salt. So we define equivalent for a salt is total weight, molecular weight divided by total plus charge or total minus charge. So what is the total weight now I can find? So for selenium I have 118.2. So x is 118.2 plus 142 that will give you molecular weight. So 118.2 plus 142 this will give you molecular weight of the compound. And the total plus charge is 2 plus or 2 minus. So either total plus charge or total minus charge that is 2. So I have to divide by 2. So that will give you the equivalent weight. So equivalent weight is 260. This sum is 260 divided by 2. So this is 130 and the unit will be gram per mole. I think all of you are able to understand this one. This is a pretty easy problem. We'll discuss the next problem. I think all of you copied this one.